All right, guys, we're going to demo my uh, popcorn blower in the daylight. Now that I've got an audience up here, all these guys over here, um, we're going to see if they will tolerate the noise of the leaf blower. And it'll give you, it'll give you kind of a, a chance to see just exactly what's going on here with uh, this contraption that I've built. It's, uh, to put it plainly, it's quite jank. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff screwed together and yeah, you know, prototyping tape, uh, aka gaffer's tape. So let me show you this thing. Uh, are we in frame here? Yep. Okay, so uh, this is, as you can see, very unfinished. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got a five gallon bucket here. And in that bucket is a, uh, a rotor. It's actually what you would call a chopper. It has screws facing straight up to act like little fingers to agitate the popcorn and a hole in the other side. Think of it like a gumball machine. It rotates and there's a hole in it that they fall through. And uh, inside of the leaf blower itself, I have a little scoop there. And what that does is keep the air from going up into the bucket and pushing back. So the air blows past it and creates a vacuum and uh, in turn evacuates the popcorn. So on the side here, I got my power supply for that uh, motor in there. And the motor is actually out of power wheels. It's a power wheels transmission. And uh, it's set, I guess, horizontally in the bottom. Anyway, its entire purpose is just to spin. Doesn't do anything else. And here I have a reversing relay. And we don't really need this unless you know, it gets stuck or something, and I'm probably going to eliminate this part of it, but it's okay. I was testing other things. And this here is a motor controller. It's a PWM motor controller for DC brush or brushed motors, and it controls how fast the motor spins. So I can adjust the speed, how fast the auger goes in the bottom. And this is just to basically turn it on. So I guess, uh, I guess the only thing to do now is to give it a shot and show you in uh, daylight just how much popcorn it puts out. You can see there's, you know, my bucket's completely full of popcorn. So I think it takes, I don't know, about a minute or so to completely evacuate the five gallon bucket. So, uh, you know, without further ado, once I get my thing plugged back in here, let's turn it on and blast some popcorn at these birds. Hopefully they don't mind the sounds too much because that would be a bummer. So first order, turn the auger motor on. And you'll see popcorn falling in. And then we turn on the blower. See, I evacuated most of the popcorn. That take maybe, maybe about 45 seconds to evacuate all that popcorn out of there. And uh, you can kind of see in the bottom the auger I was talking about. It's just a flat disc. It's actually the top center of a lid, and it has uh, screws about two inches coming up from the bottom. And like I said, those screws act as little agitators. The popcorn, once it gets in a bucket like this, it all locks together, and you can't move it out like I tried the cyclone uh, it, it just it locks and it doesn't move so you need some sort of mechanical action in there to get it to move and uh, the auger seems to work and uh, you know you can see you see it went pretty far and um, I've got 
quite the spread of popcorn. These guys will be munching on this for a little while. And there's, you know, there's more than just, uh, what, five, six, six chickens. Um, I got geese and all the other stuff too, but you know, you can see now my whole front yard is mostly covered in, whole front yard, I got a lot of front yard. This whole area here is mostly covered in popcorn. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty intense. And I was standing over there, blasting popcorn all over there. So it goes about 15 feet. It's pretty good for, uh, you know, some garbage scab together, I think. Anyhow, they seem to be enjoying it. They were kind of scared of the noise, not really too scared. They were kind of hanging around, unsure of it. But time will fix that. They'll get they'll get used to it, and then realize the glorious treats that are sprayed all over the place. And once they hear that thing go off, they'll all come running. So it'll be all right. Anyway, thanks guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, this video of uh, absolute lunacy trying to uh, feed my chickens and uh, you know let me know what you think in the comments or leave a thumbs up or any of that nonsense that uh, you know all the youtubers ask for see you guys